before we go ahead and log in and jump into it, can I just say that I have an appreciation for good UI and like, at, like look at this, man. It's just not a beautiful UI. Whoever came up with this, and you can see that, um, you know, their their cloud ID supports all the major languages: JavaScript, PHP, Python, uh, Go, HTML, and I'm I'm sure they're and all the partially supported ones as well. So they're they're continuing to to grow, and I imagine that's gonna go f extremely fast. So. Um, the container that it runs in is very fast and you know check you can check out more information about it But I want to go ahead and start coding. So let's go ahead and do that All right Here we go, so I haven't really played around with it too much. So we're gonna learn together. So I'm gonna guess All right, this is our dashboard where we could probably see our projects. Let's go ahead and create a project what are we gonna call this? Uh, we'll call this tribute page because I think we're gonna do something pretty, pretty uh, simple. It's all about learning the system. And let's go ahead and open the IDE. I'm telling you, good UI, man. I I can appreciate some good UI. <laughs> One of the features I really liked about Coder as I, as I was playing through their IDE was the fact that they have built-in theming. So a lot of us have used things like Adam Dark, for instance, which you'll be familiar with that one, or Mon uh, Monokai, which is one I've used for quite some time. Or uh, for a while, I was using Solarize Light because I thought I was going to work too tired, and this was like I would see the light wake me up. So theming is something awesome. We're going to have to switch it back to just the default, which I like quite a bit as well. All right, so now that we have this page, how do we actually launch it so that we can see it going? Well, and by the way, I didn't really say, showcase this, but it has this nice, wonderful, um, I guess, code, code, I don't know what we actually call this, but the ability to pull it down to your code level, which is a feature I've always loved in text editors and IDEs. So one thing that we can do to at launch a live development server, and you'll see it's here, but there's no connections available because we haven't quite yet installed anything. One thing that we can install using npm, npm and node are installed by default, so we don't need to do anything for that. We're gonna npm install http-server-g to install it globally here. This will take just a quick second, and now that we have that going, all we have to do to launch it is http dash server and then the root in this case it's just going to be dot slash our current root and you'll see that it launches here at these two ports so what we can do now is go open an ide and you'll see we have our hello world launching like so and so in my case i'd probably do something like so and now we can go ahead and enter some content so let's let's actually just learn a little bit more about coder.com and their pro product and we'll make a little sort of uh, tribute page to them all right, so we discussed that we're gonna talk about coder.com. All right, so we'll make that a heading. And while we're at it, why don't we go ahead and add a new file called styles.css. Uh, you know what? We could uh, if we want to, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple for this. But in our head, we'll just go ahead and create a style tag. Oops, not a subtile, a style. Tag. And we'll, we'll, in here, we'll just go ahead and say our H1s. We want to make that text dash align center. Go ahead and save that. And let's see. Now, because coder.com is in an alpha stage, the hot reloading is something that they're working on and it's going to be released relatively soon. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type up some stuff here and get it going and we'll talk a little bit about the coder.com alpha and why you might be interested in it so instead of hello world let's go ahead and put something like coder.com and uh we'll put alpha so i've always liked being part of like alphas and betas because you get you get a first look at coder so let's go ahead and maybe make a ul or a first look at a product before it gets out and you cannot uh, you can actually um i've i've done this in the past put on my resume that i have been able to I've been able to, how can I put this, uh, work on alphas and betas and do quality assurance to a degree, and it's been uh, a nice little thing to put on my resume. So uh, coder.com gives you that that ability to. So what what is coder.com? Well, 
using an li here we'll go ahead and say something like it is a um, cloud based ide right uh, which means that our code our projects we can take it anywhere we don't have to worry about um, taking this and go ahead and putting it on a on a zip drive and we just have an environment in which it can just r run um, it's easy to use because of that the ease of use for these projects are just get up and go so it has an ease of use that's associated with it um, what does that ease of use come from well it comes from that it supports natively about 15 languages fully and it supports another 15 partially which they are continuing to to integrate it and if anyone's ever had to set up an environment for a language you know it's sort of a massive pain in the butt so no language install necessary because they, they got you covered um, there's also uh, we haven't sort of discussed it but you'll see here this icon right here you can go ahead and you know create a, a link and you could pair program with it where you can enter the email address or your coder.com username and then send it to a friend for a temporary collaboration where now you can pair program and see each other as you're working through it which is a really nice feature pair programming is great uh, in any sort of environment so we could do something like this where we go ahead and do um, shareable I spell shareable shareable pair programming link and then of course we already d discussed uh, embedded terminal uh, we showcased that when we launched the HTTP server And then we also discussed uh, a few things here. Um, what else did we talk about? Um, oh yeah, themes. The themes are nice. Not uh, I've worked with some cloud IDs and it's just like, this is our theme, get used to it. But they've taken the time to add some of the more common themes that you're accustomed to in the application. So let's actually um, save, let's actually add an image to it. So. Uh, they sent me an image of their office and I thought it was pretty cool because it really embodied like going full dev, I guess is what I was try trying to say. All right, so we'll go ahead and just below coder here, we'll add an image tag and we'll just put the hard-coded hard source, which is just my website like so. And let's go ahead above here and we'll throw an IMG. We'll just set the width. It's a pretty big picture, but we'll just make it about 300 pixels. And I think also, I think this should center it. I'm not a CSS god doing this off memory, but display block and then make the margin uh, top. We'll just do zero. And then we'll do an auto on the left and right. And that should center the image. So after a little bit of research, it appears that the HTTP server NPM package sometimes has caching issues. So what we can do to fix that is uh, put this dash C dash one on the end of the file pad path. And now we'll get this. Now we'll get the correct one uh, because of the, the caching issues. But is, is this not like such a cool picture? Let me actually bring it up a little bit bigger because I saw this and I was like, I don't know what chair that is. But I, I want it, and I thought <laughs> it looked pretty dope. But, uh, but essentially what we have is just a little little tribute page, nothing super complicated here. But uh, we have have a static HTML page where we've gone and installed uh, the HTTP server, um, which will create our live development server to go ahead and launch our application here. So pretty cool stuff. I'm excited to see uh, what happens with the coder IDE, Cloud IDE. Um, I love their UI UX. I know I've said that a million times, but I, I really do. And uh, excited to see the, it grow and what additional features they add. So um, check them out at coder.com. And thank you again to them for sponsoring this video. Uh, it's been a uh, fun and a, a bit of fun and a journey going through their, their um, Cloud IDE and seeing what it has available. Check it out, guys. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested, my 100 algorithm challenge course is out and I just added 10 new videos to prep you for the technical phone screen. Check it out in the description down below for just 10 bucks.